The new chapter comes with certain retcons. During the melee between the Moor Kingdom and the Ulsted Kingdom, Maleficent discovers she belongs to the race of Dark Fae, which explains why she has a distinctive look from other fairies. At the end of the movie, it looks like a subtle message is being passed along to viewers. To get to that point, let's recall what led to it. Five years after King Stefan's death, the Queen of the Human Kingdom, Ingrith, rose to power to carry on Stefan's legacy, doing more than the deceased king has done. Maleficent learns that Princess Aurora will be tying the knot with Prince Philip and becomes enraged. She warns the princess, telling her that love does not always end well. This doesn't go over well with Aurora, prompting her to escape from the Moors into the human world. Maleficent arrives at the reunion, announcing a new curse that there shall be no love between Aurora and Philip. Aurora rejects this, much to the dismay of Maleficent, who in a rage accidentally attacks King John. This leads to her being attacked by the palace guards. She takes to her heels and is shot by one of the guards and falls into the ocean. There, other fairies rescue her. She meets fairies like Bora, with whom she forms an ally to attack the human kingdom. Unbeknownst to her, Bora intends to destroy the kingdom, regardless of their faction. A war escalates, with Maleficent leading troops from the Moors to fight against the humans. In the ensuing battle, Maleficent attacks Ingrith, who attempts to shoot Aurora with an arrow after Aurora acknowledges that Maleficent is her mother. Maleficent is hit by the arrow while protecting Aurora. She dives from the mortal wound, and Maleficent comes back in the form of a phoenix to save Aurora from Ingrith's attempt again on her life. In the end, both warring factions sheathe their swords as Philip refuses to kill Bora, and Maleficent refuses to kill Philip. Maleficent then transforms back to human form. The story ends with Aurora marrying Philip and Maleficent telling them she'll be back for the christening. Does this mean that Maleficent has finally accepted that there is such a thing as true love? Is she coming back for the christening to conjure up a curse just as she did to Aurora? There are no answers to these questions, but one thing is clear. Maleficent has regained her mother-daughter relationship with Sleeping Beauty, and the Moors and the Olsteads are at peace again.